Welcome to another episode of my Femme Rap Politics Playlist. In the long-standing Cold War between Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, for some reason, it always looks like Nicki Minaj is the aggressor. One thing about hip-hop history and rap beef is that the beef is always carried in the music and in the bars, and those bars are usually directed from artist to artist. However, in the new age of social media, hip-hop beef is now portrayed as indirect subliminal tweets, Instagram stories, and TikToks. That's a story for another day, but with the recent events that transpired this weekend between the husbands of Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, I want to shed light on why this conflict will never reach a resolution. Cardi B took to social media to respond uh, to a fan alleging that her father is a R-word. The fan said, Cardi B's father is a convicted R-word and a P-word too, with some screenshots. She says, First, it was the video lying on Offset. Now it's lies on my dad. I'm pretty sure y'all know offenders have to take a pick every year. Keep it cute on family, especially offenders, pedos, and M-words, because everybody gonna want to cry when I start talking about the real peace snatchers. Now, this is not the first time that she has addressed a tweet from fans. Of course not. And that's actually the point of this video. After this weekend's event, events, so many people have been like, this beef is deeper than music. It's street stuff, you know, especially between men now. So it's like, um, why are you, as someone who, right, Cardi, like, prances around claiming of her affiliations to the streets, and she loves to glorify this, yet she does all of this stuff on social media. And so... I can't believe she's someone who feels the need to address and respond to people who are just on the internet. And it's really weird, especially people who are anonymous, right? Like fan pages who are, don't have their personal identity. And honestly, rap, it, whether they did have their, their identity, their real identity or not, it really wouldn't matter because why are you even addressing opinions that are not coming from the people actually involved in the situation? Real street people don't do that. And even though I'm saying that, what happened with Kenny and his friends as well should have never happened. So I'm going to keep it fair um, there. But for you to come on and aggress the situation doing that is just uncalled for. Because have you ever seen Nikki come out and address her fans or anyone else's fans on the situation in general? If she did, y'all would be dragging her down even when she's not you know, even when she's not addressing things, it's still her fault. So please make it make sense. She's the one that has said the least thus far. Y'all think that Nikki encourages and gaslights her fans into dragging others, but y'all love to overlook when, when Nikki came out twice this weekend to refocus her fan base in just one day, refocus the fan base on all the positivity she has going on. Yet Cardi came online to instigate the mess from fans, yet we're supposed to have sympathy for her. I mean, do you guys hear yourself? This has to be documented because regardless of the beef, the beef, Nikki keeps it copacetic. And once again, this is not the first time that Cardi has brought up Nikki's family or alluded to throwing shots at her family. And this other tweet that was from last year, 2022, she responded to another fan um, and said, my man got a couple weed charges and gun charges, but he ain't no P and was a hustler. Rather de-slinging than taking P from B's. <laughs> you bringing up my N-word trying to get me mad. Let's not talk about husbands now, right? Once again, alluding to husbands being a topic of conversation. So Cardi gets to talk all this stuff, yet Nikki never comes on here, you know, once again, even addressing her or addressing any fans. So once again, this has to be documented because she keeps it copacetic. Nikki's not on social media going crazy and being unhinged. She keeps her shots in her bars like real rappers do. She throws a little shade and keeps it moving. But you have never seen Nicki Minaj come for someone's child, life, or family. And that's why this beef will never end. Because with Nicki Minaj, y'all seem to have no boundaries. She's obviously not a low down girl, but it's like everyone can come for her family. But if she came for yours, all bets are off. Whether or not Nicki comes for anyone's family, all bets are always off. Because she gets no breaks. Y'all are always coming for her family, no matter what. 
So when it comes to Cardi, why are you addressing people, random people on the internet saying something about your family? That's not an excuse to bring husbands into the conversation or their criminal record, because that's not the topic at hand, sweetie. And that's the other thing about female rappers and female rap beef, okay, that y'all don't know how to do. And this is why I don't have conversations with everybody about music and especially this topic, because y'all don't know how to stay on the mother loving topic. And I had to write that in all caps stay on topic when you come into my comment sections stay on the topic of the video anything else feelings and opinions are irrelevant and will be addressed as such when you step to me come correct or don't come at all okay so if you guys enjoyed this convo please check out my other recent videos on my female rap politics playlist um this one one second i just said that this weekend regarding the media and how that instigates the beef and then nikki once again refocusing her, her fan base in the midst of everything that happened this weekend and then you know some stuff going on between nikki i spice as well as cardi b you guys can find all of this on my female rap politics playlist on my channel so make sure you guys go add it to your library so you get updated as soon as i um upload a new video but moving forward keep people's family out of your mouths so thanks so much for listening today please like the video and turn on the notification bell when you subscribe so you don't miss my next rant and once again add this playlist to your youtube library so you're always keeping up with what's going down on this side of the internet